What do Ramses the second of Egypt, Alexander the third of Macedon, and Catherine the second of Russia have in common? Besides the fact that they all held the scepter over vast empires. Well, they were all nicknamed the Great. Not many rulers in history earned that title, but these and a few others did. Ramses was called Great mainly because of the length of his reign, 66 years. To put that in perspective, Fidel Castro ruled Cuba for 52. Other than his staying power, Ramses expanded the Egyptian empire through military conquests and diplomatic treaties and did a lot of building. Unlike Ramses, Alexander was called great because of how much he accomplished in so short a time. He became a soldier at 14, a general at 18, a king at 20, and died at 32. In those 18 years, he fought and won around 16 battles, often going up against enemies that outnumbered him by tens of thousands. He expanded his empire from Macedonia eastward to India, southward to Egypt, and in the process, spread Greek culture and language to much of the then known world. And then there's Catherine. When she came to Russia to marry Grand Duke Peter, heir to the throne, she didn't even speak Russian. And she didn't like Peter because he was kind of a hot mess. So she spent her time learning the language and making friends with influential people among the Russian nobility and military. Six months after her husband became Tsar Peter III, Catherine staged a coup. Her friends in the military were all too happy to help because they didn't like Peter either. He was assassinated a week later. Before Catherine, Russia was intellectually and culturally primitive. After her reign, it was on its way to being as sophisticated and grand as the rest of Europe. Of course, sophistication is pretty expensive, so she annexed Crimea and the Ukraine and took a third of Poland. There's no question that these and, and other leaders made massive historical impact, but they earned the nickname Great through force and at the expense of others. There is, though, someone else who has ruled longer than Ramses, accomplished far more than Alexander in as short a time, and didn't stage a coup to gain his throne. He didn't use force to win his title or take from others what wasn't his. The only thing he ever wrote was written in sand. The only thing he built was a people. His birth was at once humble and miraculous. His scepter was a cross. Near the end of his life, another giant of history, Napoleon, said this, Alexander, Caesar, Charlemagne, and myself founded empires but on what did we rest the creations of our genius upon sheer force? Jesus Christ alone founded his empire on love, and at this hour, millions will die for him. Merry Christmas to you, and glory, honor, and praise to King Jesus. Not a sermon, just a thought.